Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Baberly, and in this demonstration, I'm going to use a little bit of dry ice, a little bit of water, uh, a glass vase here, make a fog, and I'm going to show the difference in uh, penetration levels between a laser and an LED based system. So, we're going to be uh, testing the Erconia PL Touch with its laser based system going right here, and you can see that a couple of lines. Now, these, they, in these uh, handles here, there's uh, two laser diodes and each one is sent through a special piece of patented optics which turns it into a line. And you'll see here that it looks really white. Well, to my eyes, it actually looks very red, but the camera picks up the brightness and the brightness of the LEDs overpowers the camera a little bit so it looks white. So it's actually red, but so don't let that fool you. So I've got a little bit of water down here in this vase and I've got a backdrop here so we can see. And what you'll notice too is that my little test vessel here isn't very good because when I put the light through it, you don't get the perfect two lines like you see there. You get this kind of distorted view. So we do have some optical interaction between the glass and the laser, but that's, that's okay for this demonstration. And then I'm going to compare that to this really bright flashlight. This is an LED flashlight and it has some lenses in it that allow you to really focus it in. So we're going to compare this really bright light to this little laser right down here and you can see it's it's kind of a big difference so I can I can even completely cover up the LEDs or the lasers with the flashlight so the flashlights clearly much much brighter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little piece of dry ice here I'm just gonna drop it in here and we're gonna start getting some fog and the fog is going to simulate the tissue in your body because when you're doing low level laser therapy, what you're trying to do is get the photonic energy from the laser or the LEDs or whatever you're using into the tissue. And so you'll notice here we got a, a nice fog. And when I put one of the lasers up here, you'll see there it is against the, the uh, white backdrop. When I pull it up here, that the fog dramatically reduces the penetration levels because you don't see the lines over there anymore. And so what I'm going to do is compare this right away to the flashlight and you'll see flashlight has a similar problem. It just has a very tough time penetrating. You can barely see, see how bright that is, but when I put it in front of the fog, it doesn't work very well. It's very low penetration. And, and this is a lot brighter of a uh, energy source of light than the lasers. So the whole goal is penetration into the tissues with the less energy you can, the least amount of energy that you uh, need. So you'll see here as I bring this to the surface, you can see the lasers, how they just penetrate the fog much better and you don't, you have scattering. So the laser light is obviously being scattered. That's why it looks red around the white lines. And when I look with my eyes, remember the white lines are red. They're just the cameras picking this up is that way. But if I get this down here a little bit, you can see it's still penetrating really far and I'm starting to see some lines on the other end, hitting the white canvas here. So it is getting in and it's getting through and the laser light is penetrating fairly deep, especially compared to a very bright flashlight. Okay, so I got this held up here and again, the fog is dramatically diminishing the power levels of the flashlight getting through. So when you have an LED based system, what the manufacturers try to do then is crank up the power. And so instead of dealing with a 7.5 milliwatt laser, which is 0 0.0075 watts for each laser, and those two of them here you're seeing, but each one of those is just 7.5 milliwatts, you start now going up into the watts of power that are needed to penetrate tissues. But the problem is then is you run into, you have to have more than one LED. So you start putting these together into... Um, planes. So you'll have rows and columns of LEDs. You might have five by seven, an array of five by seven or seven by seven, something like that to try to crank up the power output so you can try to get more penetration. The problem with that is then you actually get more scattering because the photons are actually scattering with photons from the other LEDs. Plus it's harder to focus multiple LEDs than it is with one. Like here, this flashlight has one very bright LED in it but it uses optics to then focus the power or spread it apart. So it's kind of a neat way of uh, doing things when you have a lens, but when you start having a 
uh, you know, a length and width type issue with having rows and columns of LEDs, it's much harder to do the focusing and it just doesn't work as well. Point being is that lasers are incredible at getting, uh, getting the photonic energy deeper. They work incredibly well, uh, even at these low powers. There is no burning whatsoever. I can leave my thumb here and you know, this, the module here itself, you'll feel a little bit of warmth from after a while, but the laser itself, I don't feel anything. It doesn't feel like you're having anything done when you're actually doing this. Um, you just feel different afterwards. So these, this is what the lasers do. They penetrate well. And you can see it happening here. Um, and it just gets in real deep, much better than the LEDs can do. And you get a much better therapeutic effect from this. So I hope this little demonstration was kind of fun. And if you want to recreate it yourself, I suggest you do it. Because just all you have to do is just buy a little bit of dry ice and play around with the laser versus an LED. So uh, anyway, thanks for listening and have a good day.